Good day, people. This is your boy, Agbo Edward Ransom. I'm the founder of Design Genius. On today's tutorial, I'm going to teach, um, show you how to realize this part using SolidWorks 2019 software and also how to generate the 3D printing file extension, which is STL, for your printing machine. So you could print it with your 3D printer. Here we have all the dimensions, and our thickness is going to be. 0.8 millimeters as you can see so to start with what we're going to do is we're going to open the solidworks interface as you can see i already have my part here so i'm just going to help you to show you the dimensions of the part and if you've been following design genes for a while now you should be able to carry out this design to represent the different dimensions so everything is okay here i'm just going to go off so I've chosen NC304 and uh, that is a uh, steel. So here you have the possibility to also have this. So you can modify also these parameters like a six here. I could decide to put five here. Just observe this man is going to change. So I'm going to put five, for example, and this is going to change once I apply. So it became smaller. So we reduce the, di the diameter by one millimeters. So here we're going to look at also the mass property. So you can see the mass properties of your part here with the center of mass defined at the origin. So it's left up to you. So now we're going to talk about the 3D printing part. Once you have a part like this, that is well designed using SolidWorks. So what you're going to discover here and what I'm going to emphasize is this, is that when you have a design or a drawing such as this, do your best to use a single operation or a single function in SOLIDWORKS to realize this design. As you can see, everything here was designed on one sketch. So don't use more than one sketch and don't use more than one function for this part. So to do this, when we're working with 3D printer, we need to take into consideration the extension STL. So I'm going to take Save As and I'm going to take STL as you can see STL so I'm going to register yes so here I'm going to save so my part has been saved all I need to do is I need to go to where my file is found and I need to open the STL file so the software we're going to use for 3D printing is a software called Cura now the software called Cura we have different type of printers we have the Ultimaker 3 we have the Ultimator Extender Plus. So I'm going to show you. Let you just need to click here, go to Add Printer. You have Ultimator Three, Ultimator Three Extended, Ultimator Two Plus, Ultimator Two Plus Extended. So it depends on the type of printer that you have. You just choose your option here. And if you have a custom printer, you can put here. If you have other printers like uh, these, you have here. You have Cartesio, you have so many builder premium large all the type of printer that you have you could choose a printer and you work on the interface even julia so here you click on this part if you want okay you can see everything is zero so we are the origin here so if you want you can also modify the scale the scale is 100 percent 100 percent 100 percent you can also increase the scale uh maybe 200 percent it's up to you depending on the percentage which you want so 200 everything is 200 and take it to 500 everything becomes 500 so it's out of the range so you're just going to go back to 100 so this is cool we're going to work with 100 so this is so this is 100 we're going to work with it so now i'm going to go this is a solid view here you can see the time so you can see the time here it is 24 minutes you can see the different operation so the different operation here so in our wall 11 percent you have the over yield and two seconds i think this support i'm going to take it off and slicing is going to be done it's still 24 minutes so it's okay no need to change it and you could choose other stuff here so i'm just going to go to solid view to show you how the 3d print is, is going to work normally you just save your file and you send it to your to Ultimaker there to print. So here I'm just going to open the layer view. At the level of the layer view, you can see the different layers 
of the 3d printer so here are uh, this four here we have forcefully you can see the layer here so our part is not that thick so um, it's not very clear to see so you can see the different layers here and I'm going to play the animation so you can see so normally once our 3d printer will start printing it's going to start from here after here you're going to see something like this so you're going to see something like this so if you stay for a while you're going to see it printing this way until we are done so here let me take it here a bit now this is already full let me take it half filled so you're going to see how our 3d printer is going to print animate so it's going to work in this way this is how it's going to print so please don't forget if you like this video please subscribe to your channel and if there's a fabrication or manufacturing technique that you need to discover or you need to learn please share with us in the comment box being the cnc machine being it a laser cutter being it uh i don't know other types of technology please that you're interested in Please leave a comment below and we're going to make a new tutorial for you. Thank you. So this, this is our same part where we've increased the thickness. So you just go to SolidWorks, you increase the thickness to 15, it's of 0 0.8 millimeters, and you develop a new STL file and you come to cure and you take layers. I just want you to see something. So once I come to cure. and you're going to take layers so if you do this is what you're going to observe you're going to see that for a thicker if you increase the thickness you're going to see well the layers so i'm just going to simulate the part of the laser of the printer so let me put it at level i put it at maybe five percent So at this level, you're going to see how the printer is going to be working. So this is all about 3D printing and how you create your part from SolidWorks and print them using our team maker. So thank you. Like our videos, like our channel, and please share if you like.